I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ and it's been a number of couple of weeks when we are talking about empowered breakthrough and I believe you have a testimony because one of the things we believe is that when God's word goes out it does not come back empty God releases breakthroughs in our lives and I believe you have a testimony for breakthrough. And I want to mention three things. But the Bible says this in Proverbs 24, verse 3 and 4. By wisdom, a house is built. By understanding, it is established. By knowledge, its rooms are filled with precious treasures. There is a way we can position ourselves for breakthroughs because God wants us to have these breakthroughs. Three things that I want to bring to our attention today. Number one, faith. Secondly, prayer. And thirdly, obedience. If you're going to position yourself for breakthroughs, there are certain things that you must do. There are things that God does, but there are things that we must do. And the first one is faith. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, And without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The entire book of Hebrews chapter 11 talks about men and women who put their faith in God. And when they did, they positioned themselves for amazing breakthroughs. You see, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, being convinced of things that we do not see. And so, faith is very important if you're going to experience breakthrough after breakthrough. But prayer is the second thing. Jesus said in Matthew 7, verse 7, Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you'll find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. For whoever asks, receives. Whoever seeks, finds. And whoever knocks, the door shall be opened to them. You are looking for a breakthrough? Call on God. Looking for a breakthrough? Seek God. Looking for a breakthrough? Knock on God's door. And amazing things are going to happen. Your prayer will not only be heard, your prayer will be answered and you shall have a breakthrough. But thirdly, not only are we to have faith, not only are we to pray, but thirdly, we must obey. You know, when we call on God and believe in him, God gives us instructions. And you know, there are many times when we are looking for a breakthrough and God gives us the answer, but we don't action it. We don't obey it. The Bible says in James chapter 2, verse 17, faith without works is dead. Faith that is not followed in action is dead. It is unproductive. And so, this week, this month, as we continue to talk about empowered breakthrough, do you have faith? Are you praying to God? And are you obeying him? Because those three are very important. Listen about Abraham. Abraham was a man of faith. But when Abraham wondered what to do, he called on God's name. And when God gave him an instruction, like the one he told him, go and offer your son, Isaac, he obeyed. And the Bible says it was credited to him as righteousness. Are you looking for a breakthrough? Let me tell you this. Your breakthrough is in God. But there are things that you must do to position yourself. Is it in your career? Is it in your family? Is it in your social setting? You're looking for a breakthrough. Is it a financial situation? Remember these three things. Number one, have faith in God. Secondly, call on his name. Pray. And thirdly, obey him when he gives you that instruction. May you enjoy your week. May you enjoy your day. May you enjoy the rest of this month because you have been empowered for breakthrough. May God bless you and bless you. And know this, that God will never let you down because he never fails. In Jesus' name, amen.